Uh, that's what you get for dating me. It's not an inside joke. I did want to marry her, and I was completely serious about it. Got her wedding ring. That's kind of where it started to go all downhill. Yeah, and like, I started going through my major depression. Did not help. Yeah, Because I was a manic, I'm manic depressant, so. I'm on meds now, so I'm better. That's probably why we're closer friends than we were before, because I'm not flipping out about shit or cutting myself and all that lovely, fun stuff. Yeah. What really bothered me, though, was kind of near the end of the relationship, how, like, you just started being ridiculous. Like, I understand that we've been on and off for, like, two years, and that I know you are the back of my hand by now. Yeah. And, like... At that point, me and Summer kind of started to be friends again, and then... Well, that's because she thought you wouldn't hurt me. ...like, fighting, and I think that really just family was one of the main reasons why we broke up, was because they, like, turned us against each other and stuff. Yeah, my sister Autumn is actually the reason we broke up, um, the last time. She's a therapist. Well, it was a therapist, but, you know, um, my sister Autumn pushed the therapist into um, talking to us about it and how bad it is, apparently, to date as young as we were, and now we realize it was good. I hated that therapist for the longest time, but she was right. Well, that's for another day. Yeah, that's for another day. Too in depth about the therapist. But really, we, we were on and off just for, like, reasons, and of course, me being overly sensitive, I'm kind of just, you know, like, you know what, I can't even talk to you right now, and, you know, with all the family turning up against each other and stuff, it was really difficult to stay together, yeah, it was, and then eventually, I just called it quit. Yeah, it was constant fighting, and also, we're both kind of, um, mean. We attacked each other a lot. Like, she pulled a joke on me once that actually made me cry when we first started dating. She told me, um, we're breaking up, and it made me cry. So I was in my closet hiding, and she called me because she knew I was freaking out. And she was like, oh, my God, it's just a joke. I'm sorry. And I was like, oh, fuck you. Yeah, but that was when we actually still cared. Yeah, that was when we were still, um, like, you know, in the honeymoon stage, as they say. Yeah, Damn, that was a good stage. And if you don't know what the honeymoon stage is, that's like the first maybe three months in your relationship, if you're lucky. The fluffy, happy, rosy color love feeling. Yeah, makes you sick even thinking about it. I know, right? <laughs> I don't get my dose of oxytocin anymore. Oh my god, I'm going to fall off. By the way, if you don't know what oxytocin is, it is the love hormone. It's called the love drug. That is the hormone that flows when you first fall in love. And when it goes away, that's when you start fighting and all the other bad stuff. Yeah. That's really what this broke up up. There was no oxytocin. There was nothing special anymore. No.